what was it like for you growing up, like being like, you know what I'm saying, especially like different things you had going on, going from different, you know, foster situations, different families at home. Like how was it, how was it for you growing up being a middle child? It was like, the middle child in real life, honestly, like get a little no attention. Like the middle child gotta fit in, we get it. We feel, yeah. like <clears throat> it can be days, shit, like real shit. Like, like, it can be days where I can do the same shit my big brother would do, but it be different. And, and it used to be, getting, like, get, well, it used to get put like, oh, he this age and you this age in bad situations. But in good situations, like, shit, he took the trash shop, nigga, get some paper. Shit, I take the trash shop, nobody recognize the trash, took out the type of shit, you feel me? So it was just like, so that's why I made my own weight, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, man. Being a middle child is having to make adjustments at any time being, you feel me? That, that would have been a middle child go through, you feel me? Having to adapt to uncomfortable situations, having to adapt to the, the certain situations like that might not even involve them. You feel what I'm saying? Like real route, you feel me? Because it's like you in, the, you in the middle of shit, you feel me? In the middle of shit. So like. Like house to house and shit, man. I man, I stayed at like six people house, bro. I stayed at like six people house. I woke like eight nigga, eight niggas, eight. I say eight niggas, and I fuck with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? But eight niggas overall, I'm talking my whole life, like clothes and shoes, like six nigga, like literally. You feel me? Walk from the east side to bed one day, cause I got kicked out the crib. Tell me shit the middle child go through. Cause I got kicked out the crib because uh, somebody somebody thought I stole the phone. A nigga said I stole the phone. You know what I'm saying? To the person which was my mother. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and she was with the nigga at the time. He had a son though, he was older, you know what I'm saying? That was silly enough. But she go out with the only one. I mean he had a fucking phone. You feel me? And the phone came back, it was in the damn house. Man, I walked all the way from the east side to the goddamn bedroom. They keep me out actually. I walked from the east side to the bedroom. Like east side right there where that's down sick though. Like, like right by the Coliseum, the little baby park, that's the the house right down that head. I walked all the way. Man, I moved in on my partner book. You feel me? We early. She let me stay how long I need. You get what I'm saying? And she, that one, I just went for duck, my own name. Like, I swore to God. I mean, I promise you. Yeah. I, how do you feel like you, how, how do you feel like, you know what I'm saying, you feel like you were, like, growing up without your father? Like, do you feel like you're fit? you were saying, to the type of way? Yeah, it definitely fed me. It ain't stop me. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't then I got them crowd over a day of, uh, 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 uh fall short from glory from you feel what I'm saying? Like like it affected me in ways where when I would love you like shit, shit like uh fear day, award day, even if I wasn't getting a damn award but perfect attendant. You feel me? Award day, goddamn Jet all type of shit. I feel like my dad would die, I would have I probably would have been able to do everything I wanted to do as a child. You feel what I'm saying? Man, I wanna play football, I wanna play basketball. I want to do all that shit, you know, like feel that shit, man, nobody showed up on my end, you feel what I'm saying, like real shit, but that come with, that just like, like I said, I'm a middle child, so, and me being the Aries too, and me being the person I am, like, I'm, I'm not hard at making adjustments from, from back then, you feel me, like, that didn't even stop me, you know what I'm saying, like, like, I always made it in a way where, I'm with bro, he fold my fold too. You get what I said? <laughs> Real rock, bro. I played it like that every time. And Joe said I had to do that, but I did. And it actually, I brought, I got joy out that shit. You feel me? Like real shit. So like, it, it definitely affected me, though, because I used to be like, damn, like, like, you know, what if, what if he was here? What, what would I probably be doing? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to take shit back, though. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But it just still, yeah, like, what if he were here, what would be the situation? But what if he were here and, I, and I'm still in this situation right here? That'd be lit. You feel what I'm saying? Come on, man. So, like, shit.
I want John Abbey's gon' fall. Nigga won't stand on me if I die. Make sure my daughter's son alright. Just cause you grow old with a nigga don't mean he gon' be there for life. I told my Lincoln, got back cold, nigga said.